Soft robots are not a new concept. You can find many similar robots on YouTube and research has taken place in many universities as well as at NASA. Soft robots are useful because they can work in sensitive areas around people or for example for handling soft fruit. Typically these robots are made from flexible silicone rubber cast in a mould so that some sections can be inflated with compressed air. This allows a compliant joint to be made which can flex in one or more directions. However, these robots typically require a compressed air source or at least an operating environment that contains air to pump into the robot. I found another soft robot research project from Stanford University. This robot differs because it is inflated once but it can still change shape to move around or manipulate objects. This means it can function untethered from any air supply, underwater or on another planet with a thinner atmosphere. It does this by means of smaller motorised units containing rollers which drive up and down the inflatable sections. These also form the linkages between parts of the robot. This robot is a research project for exploration of the Moon or Mars as well as machine-human interaction. So that got me thinking about soft robots with no external air supply. So I bought some inflatable water noodles and began experimenting by squashing them to see how we could make an actuator. In a similar fashion to the Stanford robot, these were inflated once, they contain the air, but then obviously if we fold them and squash one end, they'll unfold, and that means we can shift air around to create some sort of actuator. I found the best way to do this was to fold them in half and then squash two ends, and that causes the whole structure to straighten. So I made this 3D printed assembly that has a clamp for two ends of the water noodle in the middle and two flaps which squeeze it together like a pair of bellows. With a bit more experimentation I was able to put something together which makes a pretty convincing limb for a soft robot, either a leg, an arm or some sort of finger on a manipulator. I actually used two water noodles cut in half so I can get to the air valves to control the air pressure, so I tied some elastic bungee to those and to one of the screws so that I can make a spring return. So now we have a soft actuator which is actuated by something rigid, that could be a servo or some other motor, but it doesn't require any external air source like a compressor because the air pressure remains constant within it. Using two of these allows me to pick up objects and that seems to work pretty well, so we could use this for handling eggs or soft fruit, there's quite a lot of air pressure contained within the water noodles so we get quite a good grip. One issue I found was that it's quite hard to hold the actuator rigid because the hinges both move in the same place and it squashes the water noodle flat. So I made an additional brace piece that goes all the way around and that holds the water noodles facing in one direction no matter what happens to the bellow flaps. This seems to make a much better actuator, it's a much better action and it also reliably points in one direction. So it's time to go about making some more and seeing what we can get out of them. Thanks to 3D Fuel for the filament for this project and lots of other projects, so check out my channel for more 3D printing projects and check out 3dfuel.com. I made six of these in total and I'm going to try and make a robot that walks along using them as legs. Each one now has a servo fitted which crushes the bellows and that's a 20 kilogram metal gear servo so it should be more than sufficient to exert enough force. I'm using a piece of PVC pipe as a backbone and I made these 3D printed clamps which clamp on using some anti-slip rubber material. These do up with a nut and bolt and that seems to make a pretty firm connection. Each of these brackets have hinge points for two legs, so the plan is to attach all six legs and make some sort of hexapod. However, it would appear even trying to support its own weight, this isn't very successful, and mostly the actuators just collapse when they're pulled tight with those bungee cords, so the legs are in the bent position. Each actuator actually looks like it's okay, but I guess it skews quite a lot in one direction, and there's nothing really stopping it moving in this direction, and that's why it falls over. So it's time for a different configuration. I've attached all six legs to a circular mount, and I think it looks a bit like a sea urchin. 
The plan is that it's omnidirectional, so extending the legs outwards all around its circumference will allow it to move in any direction. I'm hoping that it'll sort of shuffle along, and if I can move the actuators fast enough, that might be quite successful. I added elastic bands to the knee joints to try and keep the knees in the right place, and that also keeps the water noodles together because they're quite tightly packed. I wrote some simple code on an Arduino Mega to activate those servos, so that's powered by its own USB cable and activated over the serial port, and I've also used an additional 7.4 volt LiPo to power the servos. Well, it looks like it might be able to push itself along, but we'll never know really until we turn it upside down. Well, it might work if it were underwater or in a weightless environment, but as it is, it's not quite strong enough to shift its own mass and extend those actuators fully. Although you can see the bellows are getting completely squashed, it must just be that air is getting compressed or squishing out somewhere else. I also tried using four legs at once, but the results aren't much different. Well, this is a highly experimental project, so it's time for experiment number two, and that's two rows of three legs to make six in total. And again, I'm hoping if we activate all the legs at once, we should be able to shuffle along, and maybe we'll be able to steer by using only the legs on one side. Well, it looks like it should work. Unfortunately, it looks like my bellow mechanisms are too heavy, but you can imagine if it were underwater or on a planet with less gravity, then it would probably work quite well. So I think our best bet for this actuator is to make some sort of manipulator to grip sensitive objects like soft fruit. And this seems to work pretty reliably, it's got quite a good grip for lightweight objects, where the whole mechanism is mounted on some sort of rig like a robot arm that doesn't care so much about the mass. So I'm quite happy with my soft actuator that we've made here, activated by those servos with no external compressed air source. Obviously we couldn't make something easily locomote, and I think that's going to be pretty tricky, at least in the Earth's gravitational pull and not underwater, but some of these things look like they could have potential for other environments. One other way of locomotion that I thought of would be to have lots of these around the circumference of a barrel, so we've got the centre of gravity where that servo and the bellow mechanism is right in the middle, and then just activate these to help roll it along. That would probably work quite well. We could possibly even do a barrel in two halves and do differential drive to steer. If I do that though, I think I'll make something slightly smaller than all these water noodles, and of course we could still use the bellows with some sort of actual rubber inflatable section, like the silicone rubber ones we saw at the start. I'd also really like to combine this mechanism with tensegrity that we looked at last week, and that's that tensional integrity structure we had with the rigid sticks and the tensioned cords, where the sticks don't touch each other and everything hangs together in equilibrium. Now there are some robots that vary the cord length to move along, and I mentioned them in that video, but what about if the rigid piece could collapse using something like this mechanism, with a soft robot and bellows expanding and contracting it, or both the cord tension and the structure, the rigid structure could actually change. And then we could actually make something that perhaps can roll along or locomote or grip objects and repel objects as well, being able to change both of those structures. So that's something I'd like to experiment with in the future. So for now, I'm gonna publish the CAD for this bellow mechanism with the servo attached. So if you wanna have a go at making your own out of water noodles, you can. All of that is open source. If you'd like to support me through Patreon or YouTube channel membership, then those links are in the description to this video below. And patrons and YouTube channel members can get access to all the videos up to a week early, as well as sneak peeks and pictures of what's coming up and be part of that discussion. All right, that's all for now.